Hey everybody, this is Renee with Two Chatty Chicks. Uh, let me get my stuff set up here and we will get with it. Okay, I think I am there. And tonight we are going, my camera is crooked I feel like, but oh well. <laughs> um, Tonight, I'm going to be doing uh, something kind of cool, a little different, and it is going to be using Redesign by Prima, one of the transfers, and this is the one that we're going to be using, okay, and it is 27 and a half by 30 and a half, and that's a nice size, and what I love about what Prima has done is they have this design here is in three different sections okay here is one section which you can use on one project here is another one this is all in the same container and then the other one that I have already cut and got it placed and ready to use. So you can either use them all together or you can use them separate. And something else that I thought about a while ago that I really liked about their packaging is, uh, well, several reasons, is say, I'm just gonna be using the one design here. So I can take and roll these up, put them back in the package and nothing is gonna happen to them because you've got the, the lip here and you can just put them back in there and then wait until the next time whenever you need them. They come with some really great instructions here. But I will show y'all what we're going to be doing. We're going to put it on the toilet seat. I know. But who says we can't dress up our toilet seat? I just thought that was so cool. And I was going to paint it. And sometimes simplicity is best. So I thought, no, we're just going to leave it like this. We're not going to paint it. And y'all, I'm wearing my contacts, so I cannot see who's on here. But I'm glad everybody's here. And um, let's see. So normally what I'm going to tell you what, let me turn the, the camera down so that y'all can see this. And I've really got to be careful because I was doing this while ago and my phone popped out. Okay, now what I've done is I figured out where I wanted it and I've taped it. Um, yes, you could go ahead and take all of this off, but I just don't do it that way. I would rather make sure that it is in place where I want it. And what I do is I will lift this up and I also do my vinyl this way. I cut vinyl with a Cricut uh, and we used to do this whenever we would do Modelo's and stuff whenever we were doing faux finishing. And I'll put a crease in it, just like that right there, okay? And then I will let this come down into place, and my hand is on it, and so I know that it's in position. And then I'm going to use the stick, and I'm going to start rubbing it into place. Oh, that is just coming off so easy. Oh, wow. Love, love, love. Said, I had really thought about painting the toilet seat, but I just thought, you know, simplicity would really be just nice for this. Oh, that's nice. Yes, that's going to be really pretty. Now, whenever I get it to that point, then what I'm going to do is I still want to make sure that this is all going to stay in place. So I'm gonna take this piece of tape and I'm gonna put it here. And then I'm gonna take this piece, okay, and put it over here. Because you just don't wanna take a chance on that moving. And something else that I've uh, just now thought of, uh, I have used, some, not the, the Prima redesigns, 
but um, I have used some that sometimes if you're, you're holding it in place and your hand is hot, that heat, while you're working, you're building up more friction here. You don't, you just want to be kind of careful because that heat might cause the transfer to stay onto this. So just kind of be careful with that. But what we're going to do is now we're going to raise this up and you see where this is? Then you just start pulling. If I hadn't got it taped. Okay, and I'm going to take this hand and I'm just going to put it into position just like that. Okay, and see it all come off. So then you're just going to lay that aside. And then I'm still going to hold my hand over here because I don't want any of this to move. And you can hear it and you can see it as it's transferring onto what you're working on. So you hear that popping? And if you get that air underneath there, and that is just coming off so nicely, you're not having to put a lot of pressure. And let me go ahead and get to the side. Okay, and you can lift it up to see, and you can see right here, I haven't, I don't have that yet. So I'm just gonna let it back down. See, and it has stopped. That was very, very easy to get to stick. Not much pressure at all. And also, if you are a retailer and you would like to carry the redesign uh, Prima, uh, I will put in Adrian's phone number and you can give her a shout and she will give you all the information that you will need. She's a great gal and always very helpful. Oh, that is just coming up really nice. Okay, let's check it out and see what we got so far. But I'm still holding on. I don't want to lose control of what I've already got. Okay, that's coming nice. I'm really glad that I didn't paint, paint it. I'm glad that I just left it natural. And whenever I get through, um, I'll show you what else I've done. I went ahead and done that for just time's sake. Um, but I will either use Miss Lillian's No Wax uh, product lackluster top coat. Um, I'll eat, she has a flat satin high gloss. Um, not sure yet. Or I may just use a spray shellac. That way, I can, you can wipe it off and you're not going to hurt your design and everything is protected. Okay, there's a little bit right there. The curvature hasn't given any issues. It's coming off just awesome. Oh, right. I love it. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my hand and I'm just going to kind of run over it, make sure everything is down. Isn't that pretty? I think that is just absolutely gorgeous. And it's also a conversation piece. All right. Um, now I'm going to show you what I did to the underside because the other piece, it had verbiage and it came on out. So I've went ahead and put this on on this side. It didn't want it just be plain, so why not? Now I have another idea. I just can't make up my mind what I want to do, so I'm going to put that underneath there. Is These are some of the molds that I had already done, and um, I do have videos. If you go over to the left-hand side, that will tell you. Um, I'm not sure how far down it is, but it shows you how to do the molds. But you use Amazing. Um, you can get it... Uh, 
Home Depot, not Home Depot, but uh, Hobby Lobby. And it's a two-part epoxy. You mix equal parts. You stir it really well for just a couple of minutes. And whenever it turns clear, then you pour it in the mold. And uh, in 10 minutes, you can pop it out. And I usually just spray paint mine. And if you pour quite a few at a time, then you want to use them um, on something that you need them to be pliable. I either use a heat gun or a blow dryer, and you can, they'll bend. So keep that in mind. So I can't decide if I want to use the clock or if I want to use the flower. So, but also I, I'll tell you how I finished these out is I spray painted them black. It's just a lot quicker that way. And then I used Miss Lillian's Gilding Jewels. And first, I'll show you the clock because it really shows up really well. I used the gold gilding jewel and then I came in with the black gold and the gilding jewel and then you can see just a little bit of the diva color very very little and which is this color and then a little bit of the moss because these colors all really went really well with the uh, redesign of the transfer I really liked them and can't decide so I'll let y'all decide y'all tell me in the comments um, if you want the flower and I'm not sure which glue I'll use I have several um, and I went totally blank but I'll find out and I'll put it in the comments um, so y'all just tell me what y'all think would be best and um, I'll put that on there and then whenever it's all done I'll take a photograph and show you and I have another, yeah, another toilet seat that I was had already started, and I kept telling myself, I, I just really do like that, y'all, um, that I really needed to finish, and I hadn't, and I'm going to try and move my phone again. Okay, y'all, get it close up here. Ooh, bad. Okay. And I kept putting off that I really needed to finish it. And so I'm really glad that I have it because I'm waiting for uh, Prima to come out with their new molds. They are absolutely beautiful. And also their stamps. So anyway, this is the one that I had started. Okay. Yes, it's gold leaf. Okay. And the whole thing is done except for the small part here. And whenever I decide what I want to completely finish it in. I'll show y'all how to do the gold leafing and um, what we'll make our crown here look like whenever we're all done. And it'll be done with uh, some more Prima stuff, I'm sure. So, well, y'all, that's it for tonight, and I hope y'all enjoyed it. And what I'm going to do, I'm trying to do, is um, I've been organizing a lot, and... <laughs> I organized so well that I've even misplaced a stencil that I ordered from Jennifer Ferguson. Uh, but it, it's here somewhere. But anyway, so I, I'm all done with that. I've got everything set up, and I'm ready to uh, start back with the lives. And so I'm going to try and make a schedule. Uh, I can't really set a time because my days are kind of crazy sometimes so but at least you give y'all an idea of what we're going to be doing um my next one i had hoped to do it this week but it's probably going to be monday and it is going to be with prima again and it's going to be on canvas and it's going to be old world so i haven't exactly finished the idea up here but um that's where i'm going with that and then i'm going to be doing some of miss lillian's no wax chalk paint products and then i'm going to be talking about chalk couture so we've got a full list of things we've got to get on so listen y'all i sure do appreciate y'all and um thank you for stopping by and i will see y'all later God bless, and y'all have a good evening. Bye, y'all. I hate to get that close to the camera. <laughs> hey, y'all, and listen, I'll answer everybody's questions whenever I can see. But with the contacts, I can't see. But wearing the glasses was such an issue with the glare, and uh, I just feel like this is much, much better for y'all. So...
Y'all think I'm crazy, I know, but that's okay. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all very much. God bless. See y'all later.